Six things you should do to give up sugar for good. Sugar, as sweet as it tastes, has woven itself so intricately into our diets that it's hard to imagine life without it. But here's the bitter truth. Excessive sugar consumption is linked to numerous health issues. It's time we recognize the need to detox from this sweet poison. Our bodies are incredible machines, but they're not designed to handle the sugar onslaught we subject them to daily. It's time we retrain our brains and bodies to crave healthier alternatives. Today, we'll introduce you to a six-step process to kick your sugar habit to the curb. This process is backed by science and designed to help you regain control over your cravings. We'll explore how to go cold turkey on sugar, focus on real whole foods, stay hydrated, fast, exercise, and get enough rest. Are you ready to take the first step towards a healthier you? Let's dive into the sugar detox process. Before we begin, it's crucial to understand why we need to detoxify from sugar. So uh, picture this, you're standing in a candy store surrounded by a rainbow of delicious sweets. You reach out, grab a handful, and as you take that first bite, your brain lights up like a Christmas tree. What's happening here? Well, sugar, in its various forms, activates the reward center in our brains. It's a bit like hitting a jackpot on a slot machine, releasing a rush of dopamine that makes us feel fantastic. But like any high stakes game, the more we play, the more we want to keep playing. This is where the problem begins. Over time, constant consumption of sugar can lead to a loss of control, where our brain's demand for that dopamine hit outweighs our body's need for nutritional sustenance. We find ourselves reaching for that candy bar, not because we're hungry, but because our brain is craving that sugar-induced dopamine rush. But that's not all. Our bodies weren't designed to handle the amount of sugar we're now consuming. This overload can lead to a host of health risks, like obesity, diabetes, and heart disease. It can even affect our mental health, contributing to conditions like depression and anxiety. And then there are the cravings. Oh, the cravings. They're not just a sign of a sweet tooth, they're a sign that our brains have become wired to seek out sugar. It's a vicious cycle. The more sugar we consume, the more our brains crave it. And the more they crave it, the more we consume. But here's the kicker. Sugar isn't just found in sweets. It's hidden in many of the foods we eat every day, from bread to pasta to fruit. It's even in healthy foods like yogurt and granola bars. So even when we think we're making healthy choices, we could be unwittingly feeding our sugar addiction. Now that we know why sugar is a concern, let's explore how to break free from its sweet clutches. Step one in our sugar detox journey is going cold turkey on sugar. Now this might sound daunting, but it's an effective way to break the cycle of sugar addiction. You see, sugar activates the reward center in our brains, leading to cravings and a loss of control. When we go cold turkey, we're essentially retraining our brains to no longer depend on that sugar-induced reward. So, how do you implement this? Start by eliminating all obvious sources of sugar from your diet. We're talking candy, sodas, pastries, the works. Then move on to the hidden sugars in processed foods. Read labels. And you'll be surprised at how many products contain sugar. It's not going to be a walk in the park. The first two to three days might be the hardest as your body adjusts to the absence of sugar. You might experience withdrawal symptoms, but don't worry. These are temporary and they're a sign that your body is in the process of healing itself. It might be tough at first, but remember it's a crucial first step to reclaim control over your health. Moving on to step two, which is focusing on real whole foods. These are the foods that come straight from nature, untouched by industrial processes. Think fresh fruits, vegetables, lean meats, and whole grains. These foods pack a nutritional punch and are crucial in any diet, especially when you're trying to detox from sugar. Why? Because they're rich in fiber, protein, and healthy fats. These nutrients slow down the absorption of sugar into your bloodstream, preventing those notorious sugar spikes and crashes. Plus, they keep you feeling satisfied and full so you're less likely to reach for that sugary snack. What's more, real whole foods are rich in vitamins and minerals that help your body function optimally. They're like the oil to your body's engine, keeping everything running smoothly. So the next time you feel a sugar craving coming on, reach for an apple instead of a candy bar, or swap that sugary cereal for a bowl of steel-cut oats. By focusing on real whole foods, you're not just detoxing from sugar, but also nourishing your body with essential nutrients. 
As we progress, steps three to six include hydration, fasting, regular exercise, and getting enough rest. Let's start with hydration. Our bodies are about 60% water, and it plays a vital role in nearly every function, including digestion and nutrient absorption. When you're well hydrated, your body can more efficiently process and eliminate the sugar from your system, aiding in your detox journey. So keep that water bottle handy, infuse it with some fresh fruits or herbs for added flavor, and remember to sip throughout the day. Next up is fasting on non-caloric beverages. This might seem daunting, but it's all about retraining your brain. Fasting gives your body a break from digesting food and allows it to focus on cleaning out those sugar toxins. But remember, this isn't about deprivation. You can enjoy teas, black coffee, and even bone broths. These drinks not only keep you hydrated, but also provide essential nutrients and can help curb those sugar cravings. Exercise, as we all know, is fundamental to overall health, and it's no different when it comes to sugar detox. Regular physical activity helps regulate your blood sugar levels, reduces cravings, and boosts your mood. Whether it's a brisk walk, a yoga session, or a high-intensity workout, find something you love and make it a part of your routine. Lastly, don't underestimate the power of a good night's sleep. Rest is when your body heals and rejuvenates. It's also when your brain processes the changes you're making, helping you break free from those sugar habits. Aim for seven to nine hours of quality sleep each night. These steps, though simple, play a crucial role in your sugar detox journey. And that wraps up our guide on sugar detox, six things you should do to give up sugar for good. We've journeyed through the sweet yet dangerous world of sugar, understanding its effects on our brain and body. We've braved the idea of going cold turkey, focusing on real whole foods instead of the sugary temptations. We've discovered the importance of hydration, fasting, exercise, and that all-important rest in this detox process. It's not just about giving up sugar, it's about retraining your brain to crave healthier options. Remember, it takes about two to three days to detox from sugar. If it takes longer, check for hidden carbs and sugars. Stay committed to this journey. It's a tough road, but the destination is a healthier, better you. Don't forget, you're not alone in this. We're here cheering for you, providing the tools and support you need. There's a calorie and protein calculator in the description below to kickstart and track your fitness journey. If you found this video useful, do leave a comment below. And if you want to try our 90-day dopamine detox challenge, watch the video on your screen next. Remember, every step taken is a step closer to a healthier you.